हेलो गाइस आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग वेल टुडे वी आर गोना डिस्कस आर क्वेश्चन लार्जेस्ट एरिया हिस्टोग्राम टू सो इन द इनपुट वी आर गिवन आर ए फिल्ड विद एलिमेंट्स एंड ईच एलिमेंट ऑफ आर एर रिप्रेजेंट हाइट ऑफ बार्स इन अ बार चार्ट परफेक्ट एंड वॉट वी आर रिक्वायर्ड टू फाइंड इज द लार्जेस्ट रेक्टेंगल एरिया इन द हिस्टोग्राम परफेक्ट ऑल्सो देर इज अ चैलेंज देर इज अ केक दैट यू कुड वी कुड वी हैव टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन इन वन आइटरेशन ओके इट्स अ चैलेंज दैट वी विल फुलफिल so and let's understand it better we are given a heights array right and it represents the height in our bar chart so this is our bar chart this is our histogram what we are required to find we are required to find the maximum rectangle area right maximum rectangle area so now you must be wondering what is a rectangle here i mean what is a rectangle what i am saying why i am saying rectangle again again so let's see it so let's take two so we know that rectangle got a height and a width perfect so a height and a width make a rectangle right so the area of rectangle is equal to height into width so here we are given we are already given the height so if we take for zero index 2 we know its height is equal to 2 right its height is equal to 2 and now what is its width so we are given that each unit right each unit holds one width so they all got one width every element of our array got one width perfect so they all got one width now for zero at index 2 let's let's try to calculate its width so its width is simple its width is 1 right now you must be wondering can we add can we add this one element in our width no we cannot because this does not make a rectangle you can see this is not a rectangle right what is a rectangle is this is a rectangle okay only two okay so here its area would be 2 into 1 that give us 2 now let's see one more example now this time let's take it for this two that is in our fourth index okay So here the height is two. We know the height is two. Now what's the width? So the consecutive element whose height is equal or greater can be part of our width. Let's understand what I'm trying to say. So here, here, our height is two. So we can include the elements which are consecutive and whose height is greater or equal. So we can include fifth index three. as its height is greater we can also include 6 we can also include 5 so this also make a rectangle and this time my height is 2 what is my width 1 2 3 4 my width is 4 so that give me 8 area are you getting what i'm trying to say so let's see for more example for 5 let's try to calculate the maximum area so for 5 we know the height is 5 so for width the consecutive element whose height is greater or equal right so as we can see we can't include 1 because its height is less than 5 but we can definitely include 6 to our width right so 6 can be part of our width so that give us 2 so our area would be 10 so this might be our possible max area answer so the question is a bit tricky so let's take one more input and understand it perfect so this is our input Okay, so we are given a height array, and this represents the number of height. Now, let's see for one, right? Our fifth index one. So its height, height is one. Of course, its height is one. But what will be its max width, right? We need max it so that we can calculate the maximum area. So the max width, we know that rest all the elements are greater than one. So we can include simply. We can simply include all the elements, right? we can simply include all the elements in our width in the our width right so that gives us our width that is equal to the number of elements and the number of element is 7 so our area is equal to hi- height into width that give us 7 okay let's take one more example now for the third index we got 4 right now if you try to calculate width here so as we can see as we can see its consecutive elements are 5 and 5 and the both height is greater than 4 so definitely we can include them in our width so this also make a rectangle as you can see right 
सो दिस टाइम द हाइट इज फोर एंड द वेथ इज थ्री येस यू गेज इट राइट सो दैट गिव अस ट्वेल्व एरिया परफेक्ट नाउ आई वॉन्ट यू टू थिंक अबाउट इट वाई वी कॉन्ट इंक्लूड टू एंड वाई वी कॉन्ट इंक्लूड वन ऑफ कोर्स बिकॉज दे आर स्मॉलर देर हाइट इज स्मॉलर बट कैन वी से दैट वी आर इंक्लूडिंग द एलिमेंट्स हु आर कॉन्जिक्यूटिव एंड हुज हाइट इज ग्रेटर और इक्वल बट वेन एवर वी गेट अ एलिमेंट हुज हाइट इज लेस सो दैट मीन्स आई दैट मीन्स इफ आई इंक्लूडेड फाइव एयर राइट एंड नाउ इट्स टू सो दैट मीन्स आई कॉन्ट इंक्लूड सिक्स राइट सो द just smaller the thus just smaller left is acting as a boundary so for 4 the just smaller is 2 right it is acting as a boundary you know it is acting as a boundary and here also the just smaller right the just smaller right element that is 1 it is also acting as a boundary right because after there you can't include any one in your width right so this is your so this is your height and width then that give you 12 i hope that you have understood the question perfect now now i would like you to discuss the constraints that we are given okay so stay with me we are going to discuss the constraint right so we are given the question is same as the largest area histogram also also i would like to mention if you have not solved that question largest area histogram go and solve that or watch the video before coming to that question that's a prerequisite because here what we are doing is to calculate same largest area histogram but this time with a different approach in a single iteration that's our whole point so i i am asking you to watch that video i will link it in the description perfect so now the constraints so as per the constraints right so as per the constraint only two solutions are valid so what are the two solutions that are valid are o n or o log n right so these are the valid solutions that means we are required to use stack here to calculate our solution perfect o n square or o n cube solution won't work here okay so now what i want you to is to discuss our old approach what is our old approach largest area histogram so that that will help us to lead to our an our answer right so let's quickly overview it what we were doing okay so first to calculate area to calculate area we were required two things what was that height and width right we know height because we are given a height array so height to calculate height is nothing but to calculate width what i'm saying that i need the next greater so next smaller right and the next smaller left because it is acting as a boundary right so let's calculate first next smaller left and next smaller right then i will tell you that how they are helping us okay so i am going to simply write it here so for the first element we know there is no element that is less than our first element so what i am going to do i am simply going to write minus 1 here now for 2 we know that there is no element that is less than 2 right in our left part so i am going to write minus 1 now we reach second index that is fifth so as we can see in 2 is just smaller than 5 so i'm going to write its index that is 1 perfect so we are at third index we can see that 2 is smaller than 4 just smaller so i'm going to write 2 here we reach fourth index i can see that 4 is smaller than 5 that is our third index perfect now we are at fifth so we can see the value at fifth is 1 and there is no element that in the left that is smaller than 1 so again i'm going to write minus 1 here now we reach sixth index that is 6 and here here fifth index we got 1 that is just smaller so i'm going to write 5 here so that's how i calculated next smaller left elements now let's also write the next smaller right elements so for that i'm going to traverse from right to left okay so here we were traversing from left to right here i'm going to traverse from right to left so for 6 i know for the 6 index i got value 6 right i got value 
and there are no small element the right because the first element so i'm going to write this time earlier we wrote minus 1 this time i'm going to write 7 that is our number of elements so 7 here here also 5 one value and we know no smaller in the right exists that is smaller than 1 so i'm going to write 7 here we reach here fourth index and now we can see that in the fifth index we got 1 that is smaller so i'm going to write 5 here okay so now let's talk about 2 we got a smaller element uh i'm sorry let's talk about 4 and we got 1 that is in fifth index so i'm going to write 5 here okay so now for 5 we got 4 at our third index we are talking about indexes here i hope you get it because indexes will help us calculate our width okay so for first index we got 2 and 1 is smaller than 2 so i'm going to write 5 here and here i'm going to write 1 here because 2 is smaller than 6 so what i just did is to calculate next smaller left and next smaller right now let's see how they will help us in getting our width So let's talk about for four. For four, we know our height is four, right? Now for width. For width, as we can see, the next greater element, the next smaller right element is five, right? Next smaller right is five. So I'm gonna write five here, and the next smaller left element is two, right? So what I'm gonna do? is next smaller right minus next smaller left minus 1 so using this formula we are going to get our width so 5 minus 2 minus 1 that gives us uh i think we did something uh wrong yeah sorry so here here it is first first index right we are calculating next smaller left for 3 it's 1 sorry for the mistake mistake happens we fix it we get over it and then solve it okay so it's 5 minus 1 minus 1 that will give us 3 right that is give us 3 width so our width is 3 as you can see and then we calculate our area and we know to calculate area our formula is height into width so 4 into 3 that gives us 12 perfect so earlier what we were using what we were doing we are calculating our next smaller left we were also calculating our next smaller right and with the help of those we were calculating our width we are already given our height we are calculating our width and by using those we were simply calculating our area so that's what we were doing earlier perfect but now this time it's going it's going to be different this time what i'm going to do is to calculate both to calculate my largest area my area of the largest rectangle in a single iteration so this differs this time so let's see how we can do it so for that what i will do is analyze next model left okay what we were doing we will deeply analyze it so then let we we get the intuition behind it okay so how we can solve we might get the idea okay so we are going to calculate next smaller left perfect i'm going to create a stack hmm okay i'm going to write the necessary steps here to calculate calculate what to calculate next smaller left So what were our steps? First, we were extracting. We were extracting a value, or I'm gonna write extract height. Okay, we're extracting height. Then we were popping, but we were popping when when the value at our stack is greater, right? So st value greater. or equal so if that's the case then i will simply pop right now third step what is the third step to add in our right to add in our next smaller left array right that's what we were doing so answer to manage our answer that's our third step and our final step was to push 
right push what push the height that we extracted okay so by using this let's calculate our nsl that is next smaller lift okay so first i know that my zeroth element next small left is minus 1 right so first what i'm going to do is insert minus 1 here okay so i added minus 1 here also i want to mark here what it is representing this stack is representing indexes and here just so that we understand i have also wrote the value right now first we are at zeroth index so we checked if right we checked if the value at stack is greater no it is not greater than 6 right minus 6 is greater than minus 1 so my next smaller left will be minus 1 right and then i'm going to simply push what i'm simply going to push 6 and its index so zero index here and value here okay so now for 2 right uh now for 2 earlier it was for 6 we did for 6 now for 2 so for 2 what let's see what so for 2 i'm going to check if the top element of stack is it greater than 2 yes of course it is greater than 2 so what i'm going to do i'm going to pop it so let's pop 6 i popped it now after popping again i'm going to check is it even greater than the top element of our stack no it is not greater than minus 1 so i'm going to add minus 1 here now i am simply going to push it so 1 right and the value is 2 and now for 5 so for 5 5 i can see that is no greater element and we got 2 that is smaller so in the next smaller i am going to write 1 that is 2's index and then i'm going to push it that is 2 5 now now for 4 right so for 4 you are going to check if the top element is greater yes it is greater than 4 i am going to pop it and then its element is not greater than 4 so i am going to put it here that is in first index value 2 okay then after that i am going to simply push it so value 4 and index index 3 okay and now we reach where Six two five four. Now turn for five again. That is a fourth index. So five is gonna check if in the stack there is a greater element. No, it is not. So it is gonna make it my next smaller. So my next smaller will be my next smaller will be three. Right, our third index, and then I'm gonna push it. So five and four. Now. now so in my stack 5 is present right do you agree with me so now it's turn for 1 right but do you notice something that 1 is 1 is smaller to 5 that is the top element of our stack can we say that 1 is also 1 is also next smaller right right can we say that think about it that one is also next smaller right if if one is smaller than the top element of our stack that means one is next smaller right think about it you are going to you want to get the idea what i am trying to say so so we know we are calculating next smaller left in a traversal but we also getting idea that we can calculate both next smaller left and next smaller right i mean you would have not understood it right now so let's run it let's understand it in brief what i am trying to convey so here is our a and this time what i want to do i'm going to explain it so this time in a single traversal we are going to calculate both both okay here i'm going to write a task single traversal calculate what next smaller left and 
next smaller right so if we calculate both next smaller left and next smaller right so that then we can get our what we can get our width that's our whole task right we want our width we are already given our height so let's write the steps here if we perform these steps we can definitely calculate our largest area okay stay with me so the first step first step is to extract i will simply extract the value right extract the value from the array now this time this time when i have to pop think about it so i have to pop let's don't think about popping it see what we are going to do i want you let run it let's try to run it and then we'll write step steps time by time okay so here i'm going to create a stack let's create a stack and then we'll write our steps right we'll make our steps climb one step at a time perfect our stack create some space okay so this step stack is of idx also let's write value here of the idx so first i'm going to push minus 1 here right i pushed minus 1 here now now i am at 2 so what i checked that 2 is greater than the top value of our stack so if 2 is greater right so i am going to simply push okay stay with me if you don't understand it's fine right just stay with me so i am simply going to push so uh 2 is index is 0 and its value is 2 i pushed it now now we are at first index so we are at first index the value is values we are here right the value is 1 so the value is 1 and i checked that what i checked that if if value or i will use blue pen if value is smaller is value is less than or equal to what stack dot top if my value is is less than or equal to stack dot top then then that means my i got my what i got my next smaller right that is my value so in this case as we can see we are at 1 and 1 is less than 2 right that is a top element or stack so 1 is 1 is n s r next smaller right now we need height next height and width right so before moving further what will be our height right if we are at 1 right so we are next smaller right of our 2 right of the top element or stack so can i write that height is equal to height is equal to this 2 that is stack dot top whichever element is stack dot top right and then we are simply going to pop it so we now know what is our height right so here let's write a case here my nsr is equal to 1 my height is equal to 2 right and now what is my next smaller left so after i popped this value so here i popped 2 so whatever the value that is in top of my top of my stack right now whatever the values that is uh, sorry whatever the value that is top of my stack after popping after popping the height that will be my nsl so that will be my next smaller left next smaller left equal to st dot top after popping it so in this case it is minus 1 so let's write it here nsl is equal to minus 
perfect now that we know this much we can calculate our width right so our width is equal to we know the formula ns r minus nsl minus 1 so let's do it so ns r is 1 minus minus 1 minus 1 so that will give us 1 right so our area will be equal to higher height is 2 2 into 1 that is 2 so as you can see the area is 2 here so my area is 2 here now okay so we calculate our area and now we are going to push that is our last step to push push the value that we extracted so let's push it so the value is 1 at index 1 okay so now we pushed one so we got five this time so five value is greater than the top element so we will simply do nothing and push it so we pushed five and its index here we pushed six and its index all right now important step okay so now we reach two right we reach two now for two we know that two will become our ns r next smaller right because 2 is less than the top element of our stack that is 6 right so so i'm going to write here my ns r uh, i will use green pen i know it's taking a time but it's definitely going to be worth it it's not easy to get but yeah rewatch it we will get it so nsr is equal to 2 that is fourth index and height what will be height i'm going to pop it the top element that is 6 so my height will be 6 right and now the top element in our stack will be my width so in this case it will be my uh, top element in our stack will be my ns l so then this case it is 2 right in this case it is 2 and by this i can calculate my width that is 4 minus 2 minus 1 that gives me 1 and 6 minus 6 into 1 is 6 perfect now what we are going to do is to check we are at says 2 right so we are going to check if 2 is smaller than the top element of stack we will check again we will keep we will do it in a loop so yes again that's the case so this time again my nsr is going to be 4 my height is going to be 5 this time and we have to pop it so 5 right and my nsl is going to be a top element of my stack so its index equal to 1 so by this we can calculate my area right we can calculate our area so my width will be 4 minus 1 minus 1 that is 2 and that will give us area what 5 into 2 that is 10 perfect now 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 okay so now we check again if 2 is smaller than the top element of stack no it is not so we will simply push 2 so the index is 4 the element is 2 now we get at 3 now we check if 3 if 3 is smaller than our top value no it is not so we will simply push it 5 3 now you must be wondering that we never calculated the area of these element that is still present in our stack so we got to think of something how we'll do it so for first we'll code it and then we'll figure it out right together so let me open our code we are given a height array so first step to create a stack to create a integer stack so i created an integer stack also i will create a max area right that will give me my that will help us in calculating my max area now what i have to do is in my stack i'm going to push minus 1 we know why we are doing this so i pushed minus 1 now now 
the important step okay so we have to traverse we have to traverse our heights array right to extract the value we know that int i is equal to 0 height dot size i plus plus so let's extract our value int value is equal to heights heights i so we extracted our value now we'll run a while loop and what will be the condition first first st dot top top is greater than equal to zero what it represent the stack dot top is not minus one right and we are doing this so it is not minus one so this condition should be true and now the most important condition let's check our open board that it was if value if value is smaller than the value that is present in our top or we can say the stack top value so i'm gonna write here stack top value is greater than our value so height st dot top if it is greater greater or equal to our value right then what we are going to do that means we got our n s r that is next smaller right that will be i right we are working on indexes here perfect what will be our height our height will be the top value right and then we have to pop it so our height will be st uh, height st dot top so we calculated our height now to calculate next smaller left right and what was our next smaller left so after we pop it we pop it whatever the element that is present in our top of our stack at our next smaller left so don't forget to pop it here st dot pop right so in nsl equal to st dot top whatever that is present in top of our stack so now we got both nsr and nsl with the help of this we can calculate our width so let's calculate our width width is equal to nsr minus nsl next model right minus next model minus one and now we got both width and height so let's calculate our area in height area is equal to height into width perfect so no we know we created a max area variable so that we get our max area so max area is equal to max is equal to max area max area so that will give us our max area then what was our last step our last step was to simply push or simply push the value that we extracted so st dot push value also we don't have to push the value we are working on indexes here right why because we need indexes perfect now that seems our code but we discussed that we never calculate area for these elements why because we never got a small element the, we never got a next smaller right for them as you can see here three is present and there is next smaller no next smaller right exists same for two and same for one so what we are going to do is add an element here by ourselves so sixth index that is zero so if we get this that will help us in calculating our area how let's see so our nsr will be uh, let me show you now we will go to our sixth index and we will check our nsr is equal to zero what is our height our height is the top element so our height is three we'll work for three what is our nsl next smaller left we know for three it's two so first we have to pop this we have to pop this we are going to calculate next smaller left this time that is fourth index right so with the help of this we can calculate our width right are you getting me how we will calculate our width 4 minus 0 that uh, minus 1 that is 3 so that gave us 3 I uh, think let me check let me check so we were calculating for 3 right so uh small mistake here uh, so nsr is now uh, let me raise it 
uh, wait 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 stay with me yeah so we are calculating for 3 right so the nsr will be 0 right so 0 index we need index for it our height was 3 right and our nsl was 2 so by uh, what Uh, sorry, so uh, let me write it again. So my NSR was 6, my NSL was 4, perfect, and my height was 3. So by that, we can get our width, that is 6 minus 4 minus 1, that is 1. So our area will be 3 into 1, that's 3, right, that is 3. So that's how... So that's how we'll keep calculating the area of the pending elements by using zero here. Perfect. So now in the code, let's add it. Okay. So this time we will run till i is less than equal to int value equal to zero. Now what I'm going to do if i is equal to height dot size, if that's the case, if i is equal to height dot size, then I'm going to set value is equal to zero okay else if that is not the case then i'm going to set value then i'm going to set value is equal to heights i right so now let's that's it for a code now let's try running it giving a error 11th line and no return statement okay let's fix it so first here let me zoom it mm, yeah this is our code we had to return max area here perfect let's return max area and in the 11th line it's heights now let's run our code Perfect, our code got accepted. Now let's try submitting it. Taking some time. Yeah, perfect, 10 out of 10. So this was our question. We discussed a very optimal and interesting approach to calculate last data histogram in a single iteration. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, do not forget to like, comment and share. Thanks for watching.